Hey everyone, I just wanted to share with you a really quick little tip. First of all, this little zombie dude here, I wanted to share with you the colors that I used because I know I'll get asked. So for his face, I used G20 and G24. For the little bit of orange in it, it's YR18. For the purple, it is V15 and V17. And then the gray is C4 and C5. Okay, so then I'm going to take this. This is the colorless blender. And I have cut off a little piece of a washcloth and tied it. So it gives me almost a sponge dauber effect. So it's just super, super small. I, want, I wanted it small so I had more control over it. So you take your colorless blender and just on the tip, give it some on the rag. Now carefully, wherever you put this, it's going to remove the color. So I'm just going to dab and lift, dab and lift. And this gives it a awesome effect. I can't even tell you how much I love this. And you can try this with any kind of material. The different material is going to give you a different look. So not every material is going to be the same. You can go over it as much or as little as you would like. All right, so, oh, I love this. I can't even tell you how much I love this. This makes my heart happy. Okay, let's see. One thing to note that the colorless blender does dry pretty quickly. So you might have to do a couple applications on like darker areas or areas that you might have missed the first time around. So there you go. You can see it kind of gives it this like pattern effect. I heart it. Okay, so that's my quick little tip with how to use colorless blender, which I've said this in my videos before, I absolutely love colorless blender. I think that if you know how to use it the right way, that it can be one of the greatest tools you have with your Copic markers. So I hope you will go create something that is perfectly imperfect. Bye.